We came to the decision that we'll just say whatever, and if we have to, we'll reload. This might be the only shot at really getting a head start into the student council, so I can't blow it here. Actually, I've heard some things about the student council. I'm curious. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Certainly. What do you want to know? Like how you got into office and all of that. We didn't have anything like this back in the schools in Kanto. We rarely get freshmen asking about this kind of stuff so early in the year. Ooh, okay, okay. You must be really interested. Okay, okay. Well, compared to chair, I'm interested in nothing, but I should get as much info as I can so I can pass it on to the others. Yeah, I have some friends that are thinking of joining, so please, anything would help. Well, the school doesn't just let any student out for office, run for office. Your grades need to be in the top five percentile of your year in order to qualify as a candidate. And being smart isn't all there is to it. You can't be a jackass either. I like how that's highlighted. This is important. <laughs> yeah, Blue. This is life advice. Yeah, Blue. Hey! Student council members need to behave like student council members, you know? There's nothing... Uh, there's an image to maintain, <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Right. We represent the entirety of the student body, so we must exhibit the best attributes a student can possibly have. That sounds fair enough. I don't think any of us are really unlikable, and I trust we're smart enough to get the minimum G GPA. Jippa. <laughs> Jippa. <laughs> well, at least they are. But what's the actual process of running for student council position? It's actually quite simple. The school holds an election at the end of every first semester that is open to all students that meet the minimum requirements. If you want to run for office, you must be registered as a candidate with the school. But winning the majority of student votes won't be enough. Current members of the student council also get a say in who gets to be in office next year. The only rule is that they can't elect themselves. That would be really messed up. That would really mess up the system. Haha. <laughs> Seems like joining the student council isn't as difficult as I thought. We might just have a chance here. Thanks. That was a lot of help. I'll definitely pass this on to my friends. Hey, good luck, man. You're gonna need it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Roxy, can I get a rain check on the meeting? I forgot that I promised the photography guys that I'd help them out today. <laughs> really, Brownie? <laughs> you need to start letting me know in advance if you're gonna if you're gonna stiff these meetings. I'm tired of apologizing to everyone for you. I'm really sorry. I'll buy you a drink tomorrow. My treat. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I don't know how you got elected in the first place. You're so likable. I don't know either. Maybe it's because of my <laughs> dash and good looks. <laughs> Wait, let me get this straight. Bra Brawley, you're on the student council too? Of huh? course, he was there. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're new. I was about to get real sad that you recognize Roxy, but not me. Brawley's the vice president. Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> Wait. Or what? He might not look like it, but he's actually quite diligent at his job. Though sometimes I wish he'd take things a little more seriously. Oh, come on. You know I always give it 110% when it comes to the council. It's just that sometimes I get a little caught up in other things, you know? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right. Well, oh wait, let's see you explain that to the principal when he asked why you skipped out on all three preparatory meetings last week. Damn, there were that many? <laughs> I might be in some deep shit, haha. <laughs> this guy's the vice president. He seems more like a jock than anything. I really can't see him sitting behind a desk shifting through papers all day. I swear the school has some of the most colorful people I've ever met. Maybe it's because all their hairs are different colors. <laughs> and it's still only the first day. Or first week? I missed that. Oh well. Anyway, anyway, Maker Red, we really need, must be going. It was only for a short while, but it was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Take it easy, pal. How's it going, bro? <laughs> Love life, bro. How's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? Probably the photography club is that way. Uh, er, whoops. Looks like I forgot again. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, you can be silly and such a little bitch. Phew. Mm. That was scary. I never would have guessed that I'd meet a student council president and vice president right at the beginning of the semester. But I think I consider this a positive encounter. It seemed to like, they seemed to like me enough and I thought many students would have gotten the opportunity to talk with them so casually like that. Oh, I doubt many students, my bad. But the others must be in the cafeteria already. I don't want to keep them waiting so I need to hurry. Besides, I can't wait to see the looks on their face when I tell them about this. <laughs> I don't know, I saw this fan like, Jaren can be like, <laughs> you can't <laughs> stop us. <laughs> we also might manage to get a table with enough seats for to fit us. Well, more like we forced it to fit us. The majority of the tables here aren't designed to seat more than four or five people at a time, and we have seven. There's not a whole lot of leg and arm room left. seven? Yeah. What? Because we got us, Charon, Calum, Serena, Shauna, and... 
Bats here, no Trevor. No, 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 we might have the Green Beret chick. Oh, or no, or Hilda and Hilbert. Oh yeah, we might have them, or one of them at least. I'm surprised they're all sitting together in the first place. Who, who was oh, right? We, oh yeah, we do have Hilbert and Hilda. Oh wait, oh Sean is not with us. Sean okay, not with us. Hilbert and Hilda and the Green Beret girl. So we're hanging out with the Unova and we're sitting next to Serena. <gasps> oh my gosh, we are! But she's sitting next to Kim. Oh my gosh! It's all good. Wakes up. It must be done. <laughs> That's right. See, look, look, you can even see the death in Red's eyes. Just, dun, just dun. The hollow look dun, in his dun. eyes. Da, 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 da. Sharon, Hilbert, and their friend Hilda they don't seem like much of a social group. The exception is their other friend, Bianca. I was always so confused about how to pronounce her name, but I think that's it. Those per whose personality is like the polar opposite compared to everyone else's. With a group like this, the conversation topics tend to stray toward schoolwork or current events. It's not especially boring or exciting. It's more like business meeting than anything. I miss our old squad. I kind of do too. <laughs> Eventually, we're only here for her and no yeah, one else. pretty much. Eventually, I report to Sharon and the others about Roxanne and Brawley. Brawley told me earlier at the academy. Okay, well, he likes us. <laughs> what I, I see. Care. <laughs> this is very helpful information, my friend. And I'm glad that you took the opportunity when it was presented to you. I was right to place my trust in you. <laughs> trust well placed. Plus one on churn. Like Fast you. forward. I know I can trust you, so I need you to do this for me. What's that? I need you to kill Serena. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, uh, reset the entire game, please. Pull out my gun then and there and blast him. <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Uh, yeah. Put his hand on your shoulder, on your thigh. You mistreat. Uh, you misplaced your trust, my friend. Bow! You like shoot a point blank in the gut. <laughs> I wanted wanted to run for the president. Boom, boom. You're here for the position. I'm here for her. <laughs> I have no problem moving you out of my way. <laughs> dun, dun. Plot twist: He wanted Serena the whole time. Darn it. Uh, I still can't believe that you managed to extract so much out of the both. Plot twist, Serena Bryce was Bryce. mute the whole time. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know. You was transformed. Plot twist, Serena was a ditto the entire time. Gross. <laughs> Ew. She could be a Latios or Latios. Mimic you. <laughs> yeah. She sucked my soul. Yep. I'm always pressing someone in the tree here. I may have underestimated you. Great work, Mega Red. Uh, uh, thanks. A shower of compliments is too much for me. I feel my face lighting up. I did so much. <laughs> Help. I did expect that the elections will be open to the current student council members. <laughs> However, with your recent acquaintance with Roxanne and Bra Brawley, this may be very, this may very well play out in our favor. So you're like friends with Roxanne and Brawley now? Brawley? I keep throwing an N in there. Well, I wouldn't consider them friends, but I guess we know each other's names. You so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you guys are in the council. Thank you for the encouraging words, Bianca. So, um, you guys seen the guard open yet? It's so pretty. Thank goodness, Bianca. Thank goodness for Bianca. I knew I could count on her to change the topic to something more lighthearted. I've seen it from outside, but I haven't been in there myself. We should go there sometime. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be terrible waste of time, or waste if we did it. She's brave. What? <laughs> What is it even doing in the garden? <laughs> Have I was fun. thinking of perhaps a picnic of sorts. I hear the center of the garden is a very popular spot for students during the spring and summer. Why not just eat in the cafeteria? It's cheaper, faster, and we don't have to worry about the wind blowing and everything away. And we can get the early bird special if we make it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Caesar easier to discount. Out. It's easier in my day. <laughs> I can't be outside for too long. I'll get sunburned. It's not the same, Hilbert. I changed her voice. <laughs> You're right, it's not. Eating at a table is much better than eating on some dirt and grass. Do you really think that eating at some barring groups surrounded by crowds of people is better than eating with your friends in a quiet garden? Got you Ooh. there, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with Hilbert. Kim? I thought, oh, <laughs> I thought you of all people would prefer somewhere with less people around. You're not wrong. I don't quite like the idea of eating food that's so close to the floor. Who knows what's been on the ground and grounds? Well, that's just your opinion. What does everyone else think? I'm fine with anything. Me too. 
So, so the opinion is still split evenly. Well, if we're the deciding factor, you know what it's going to be. What about you, Mega Red? They all turn to wait for my <laughs> response. Do they really expect me to be the deciding vote? If I have to be honest, I think I'm just going to save just in case. I think I'm going to save. Uh... Pigney sounds great. I think a picnic is a fantastic idea. It makes for a good change in scenery. Oh! Woo! Both! It's a twofer! Let's get it! Another one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Having, like, meals surrounded by nothing but green nature and blue sky, it sounds so romantic. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> it just gets worse. It's about the atmosphere, not the actual meal. I've heard the cherry blossoms are in full bloom around this time of year. Hey, why have a picnic at all? Why don't you just go there and stare at the trees if you like them so much? Hey, you're such a You prick. suck. It was just a suggestion. Hubert <laughs> literally just sucks. Even though he has like the coolest starter character design, I think. I still prefer eating on a stable ground. But to each their own. Well, if you wanted to go to the garden anyway, it's free access to your all day, every day. I was planning on going to eat and get a head start on my bug in normal classes. In what way did you plan on getting a head start? I don't know. I thought maybe I could take a closer look at my Pokemon that I find, oh, that I find there. So I have something to compare it to in class. Is that weird? I'm gonna go eat Pokemon. No. <laughs> no. That's a good idea. I was planning on doing something similar. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Despite Bianca's ditzy personality, she's actually a really diligent student. I heard that she faced a lot of opposition before getting into this school, especially from her overprotective parents who refused to let her enroll. Aw, oh, that's that's from the games because her parents were like so like close minded to her going out on an adventure with you and Sharon. Oh really? Yeah. And like even though she was the weaker of you three, like, they kinda played into that being part of her character arc. So I really shouldn't be surprised at her determination. Speaking of classes, how do you all plan on handling your studies? Do you think we should hold some kind of study group? Are you concerned about what the teachers say about the graduation rate? Mm, just a little. There's no need to fret about something like graduating. I have confidence that everyone sitting here at this table will have no trouble graduating on time. Except for you, Hilbert. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> what, you what you should be concerned with is how you should spend your time outside of class. Have any of you decided on your extracurricular activities yet? Hmm, Serena, what have you decided you're going to do? We kind of need to know. Hmm, let me write down yeah. my painting. Oh, Klaus, so I'm starting next week, right? Yes, and they run at the beginning of May, so you still have plenty of time to decide. Oh, yay. I was thinking of the gardening club, but I wanted to think about it a little more. Have you decided a club yet, Sharon? I see no need. I will have my hands full preparing the student council elections for the next few months. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys are going to be so busy. Uh, right. But as a backup plan, I plan on joining our club. It'd be a good way to pass the time in a line. I've heard from my parents that Comic Con <clears throat> Academy's musicals are so impressive, they can be compared to professional ones. If possible, I'd like to be able to join their pit orchestra with my violin. Looks like we're learning an instrument. <laughs> Looks like we're going to the musical. I learned how to play clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice being able to play a musical instrument. All I can play is tennis. <laughs> and Hilbert. <laughs> <laughs> I can pity patty his falls back and forth. But only on Tuesdays, because that's when it falls on our mid on our vitamin tray. What? <laughs> 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 like wakes up. <laughs> Hilbert! Hilbert! <laughs> is he dead? Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> then are you joining the tennis team? This school has a tennis team? Mm, maybe I am. What about you, Hilbert? I suck. I don't do anything. I can't play tennis. My hip will go out. <laughs> Bust the no, I'm talking about if there are any clubs you're interested in. Hmm. I suppose checkers. <laughs> or bingo. The battle team sounds all right. I'm not surprised. Do you think you have what it takes to succeed there? Why wouldn't I? Unless you're doubting my abilities. This guy sucks. You know that I don't. I was curious to hear your take on the matter. Do you have any clubs in mind, Mega Red? Even if you're confident that you will be elected to the student council, it's not a guy that doesn't have a plan B. 
Everyone's looking at me like they're waiting for my input. I can't say I haven't been thinking about clubs, but I don't think it's really on my priority list at the moment. But since sign-ups are next week, I should start thinking about a club I'd be interested in. Clubs, huh? Right now I'm leaning towards... <sighs> I mean, it's, it's, it's really, you know... I mean, obviously, our destiny is the battle team. I know. But she's my destiny. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I liked where that was going. Ooh. Okay. Join us next time. And you can guess what club we're going to be. Yeah, yeah boy. Bye.